So we are here in East Nashville, and for people listening, East Nashville on the other side of the Cumberland River from what most people kind of think of when they think of Nashville, that being uh, Broadway. Or as one person on the news described it, uh, my mama told me don't never cross that bridge before from downtown. Remember those <laughs> days, Mark? I remember those days. I remember when you couldn't come down here. So I did get kind of curious about Broadway. There's a there's a certain place that I am bound to determine to go to, uh, you know, ever since we started making fun of it. And of course, that is the Kid Rock's big ass honky tonk. Uh, yeah, man. Have you been? Have you been, Mark? I have not. No. I, I have that. something called class. Yeah, well, so that's the problem <laughs> All the damn Nashville, richest man in Antioch, ladies and gentlemen. All the man. damn Nashville people I know are too classy to go there. But I am a, you know, I, I'm a, I'm a bit of a redneck sociologist. I need to, I need to experience it. I need to breathe it in, yeah. uh, you know, not too deeply. Uh, but I like you the know. way you use. First, you said I'm a bit of a redneck, and I was like, so why aren't you already there? And then I realized that it wasn't a noun; it was a modifier. It was an adjective. Uh, a redneck I mean, sociologist. I mean, you know, you could be both. You we could, could do both. a podcast from there. That'd be. Uh, yeah, I'm sure they would. We're broadcasting from Kid Rock's dumbass bar. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Rivers just got broken. <laughs> by um, but I uh, I found an article uh, that I kind of wanted to uh, uh, run down with y'all and just get your takes because, you know, maybe these are places you've been. Maybe it's not. But uh, this is from a website called Whiskey Riff. And Big uh, fan. these are some uh, Yelp reviews of downtown Nashville's lower Broadway bars. Oh, no. Uh, All so I right. uh, wanted to run them down. First, I will start off with uh, what I will say is my favorite uh, place down there, that being Robert's Western World. Oh, Robert's oh, is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of history. Uh, it backs up to uh, what they call Fame Alley, which is the alleyway where all the musicians that are going up at the Ryman Auditorium kind of like hang out and smoke and, and talk and stuff like that. A lot of history in that place. Uh, but. Uh, this is a review, this is a two-star Yelp review from 2013, and, you know, tell me what you think. It says, not a very kid-friendly place. <laughs> Didn't have access, this is a honky-tonk in fucking Nashville. It's, yeah. Didn't have access to silverware to cut a hot dog for my baby. <laughs> also, no changing table in bathroom. <laughs> Hamburger was less than good. <laughs> <laughs> the, the group playing music made the place earn my stars. So, oh god, I love, I love, I love the way this lady is. She's the type of person who takes a, a baby to Broadway. How do we know it's a lady? I mean, Ben, that's very, good, yeah, it's very, very of you. assumptive. Wow, yes, that's a true. Lady. Yeah, no, wow. but at the very least, this is the type of person who uh, walks into a fucking wild honky tonk <laughs> in Nashville where right, everyone yeah. is drunk at any hour of the day. And is like, hey, do you have a lot of uh, like Wait, things for my baby? Let me defend myself here, okay? Okay. Walking into a bar with a baby is the most man thing you can do. Okay. I mean, if we're going to stereotype, we go, oh, shit, it's my one weekend a month, right? Yeah, yeah. What are we going to do? Like, well, Robert said I'm always welcome there, even though they've thrown me out three or four times. <laughs> yeah. And I know they've got hot dogs down there, which is what babies eat. So let's get this baby down there. <laughs> Give this baby a hot dog. Because as a parent, I can tell you, that's the thing they don't terrify you of as a parent. Uh, you guys know this? When you have a baby, they go, hot dogs will kill your baby. Yeah, so yeah. this guy goes, you know what I need? I need, I need some silver to cut it up so I can make it just small enough to <laughs> choke my child. And I'm trying to do this down here. I can't do it. Now the baby ate and didn't choke, and now it's shitting itself. So, yeah. Well, also, I like that they're like, why don't you have knives in this crazy bar? <laughs> Oh, they've Where got they, knives in there. Yeah. They're just not behind the bar. Right, right. Everyone's yeah, you, fucking pocket. I was going to say, yeah, you could have just asked the, the shit kicker next to you, like, hey, you got a, you got a knife to chop up this hot, baby's hot dog, and also, I'm sure was, they'd be like, hell yeah. If this was the 70s, you just pull one out of a dead body. Yeah, right? that's, that's how you get it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I will defend this woman, because uh, clearly we've established it's a woman. Uh, if you are a place of business, I don't care if it's a restaurant, a cigar bar, you need to have the means to cut a hot dog in half. Otherwise, <laughs> you get your you, you get a D on that health inspection. You fail. <laughs> Wait, it, we, yeah, the, the health board of what? Tennessee shows up. Wait, you don't got a knife to cut a hot dog? You get a D. You know, it's me like they're not defending there. So we got a gun to cut a hot dog. We got a gun that will cut this hot dog right in half. But we can't pull it out unless we want to use it on somebody. Rivers, what year was this review from? 2013. So okay. It's been a while. That was before they had the term Karen. That was just... Oh, yeah. That yeah. was pre-Karen. A pre-Karen was, Karen. Was a pre -Karen. <laughs> pre Very precarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, this next one I love because uh, it's three stars, so slightly better. Okay. That's not bad, though. But, but, like... Can I make a fort? Can I guess? Yeah, yeah. The band there is the reason why I gave it any stars at all. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. Okay. Uh, so, here it goes. <laughs> 
best place to hear real country music. Dot 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 in the entire world. Amen. <laughs> now that's true. Though. That's, that's, that's true. Let's now, establish this by the radio. He's been all over the world to see live music. So leave, no country music specifically, <laughs> yeah. uh, dude. Robert's Western World is better than the country music in Uruguay. I'm just gonna say it. No offense. Uh, okay, so that seems like that's more than a three star uh, review you right there. Think, but oh. but no, the next sentence. Now, don't be looking for the next big, beautiful star here. These players are better and positively uglier than what <laughs> stars are made up to be nowadays. Oh, yeah. And then, okay. here's the confusing part. This is a tourist trap. Real good cold beer and burgers, you should go. <laughs> 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 this wow. this man is all over the place. This is a this is a guy who uh, has no filter. It's it's all the thoughts. It's like he w- forgot to take his schizo medicine before he <laughs> did the review. He's like, I need to take my pill so I don't. I have my all my personalities don't come out. Oh. This review is like a gif, right? <laughs> like you read it anytime it goes from one star up to five stars and back, and one star and five. Stars. Yeah, how like, I would have given it five stars, but there was a person in there with a baby changing them on the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah, talking about how there wasn't any silverware. <laughs> there was no table. There was no changing table, Ben. I don't know if you've been paying attention. Every table is a changing table. It lacked a koala table. pullout. Uh, <laughs> their koala game week. Well, well, I'll be honest. That's where I take my best shits is right on that koala pullout. Take a dump, slide that thing back up, lock it up. Hilarious every time. I'm always awkward using the bathroom in public, except for when there's a koala pullout. Shakes it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's there like, you hey, go. Man, you know, people are getting some business done in here. Uh, this next one, this is four stars. Four star oh, okay. review. So I blacked out here, which means it did its job, folks. <laughs> Good music, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Only four stars. I love that the phrasing, it did its job. Like the bar is there not for socializing. It is specifically there to black me out, to poison my brain to a point where I can no longer function. But can, can I make a case for the fifth star? Huh? Right, there's a lot of places in this world where you black out. You're not alive the next day. That's true. Something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were. <laughs> they, they at least, uh, you know, the, the Brazil Billy hopped off stage. The and, way people find out your experience there is in the newspaper the next day when they were like, this person was stabbed eight times. Yeah. But that's yeah. obviously not going to happen to Roberts because they don't have any silverware. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> there we go. Uh, call back. All right. So next up, this is one I've never heard of. It's called The Stage. Oh, yeah. The Stage. Huge. Well, what the hell is The Stage? It's a bar with a stage and there's some guys playing honky tonk. Yeah. Oh, okay. Unlike it's the, right down. It's the same. It's the same bar as Roberts. Oh. Okay, it's okay. a great I mean, it's name. Just the same thing. It's a great name because it differentiates that bar from all the other ones, and that this one has a stage. Well, see, I was thinking like a stage coach, <laughs> like it'd be like oh, you know, well, like Roberts Western Western so themed. When in the somewhere. New Yorkers come down, they try and get a corned beef sandwich from that place. What? It, <laughs> Do they serve what? that? No, uh, there's a famous deli in New York, Stages Deli. Oh, okay. That's, oh, okay. All right, I'm not the kind of person who can write a review out. talking about this is the best corned beef in the world. I haven't traveled like you have. The yeah, corned yeah. beef. Oh, yeah. Uh, your means. I've been in New York. Uh, uh, but this is a one star review. If you haven't been to Stages Deli, you've never been in New York. Okay. You've never been. This, this, Ooh. Is, Ooh. A, this is a one star review for the stage. On 4 6 2021, we oh. were having a great time. We <laughs> loved the band. We tipped heavily and enjoyed our date night until. Four women came in oh, and Lord. danced like they were having intercourse together right on the dance floor. <laughs> Obviously, they were high on something, and none of the women ordered beverages nor tipped the band. We all, including the band, were disgusted. (laughs) My husband and I regularly stop here for great music and hospitality, but after telling the largest bouncer that we were leaving if this X-rated dancing doesn't stop, he just discarded our request. He didn't care at all. Bring me the largest bouncer. (laughs) When did Nashville change to a sleaze fest on a Monday night? Many of us left because of these women. They're asking this in 2021. When did it? I'll tell you. It was a couple years ago by that point. <laughs> and then, and the gone are the days of the 1970s when downtown was just bars and porn shops. Well, now we, the last line is the best, where they make it into like a political issue. Many of us left. I'm so sorry that no one cares for USA values at the stage. And I'm like, name me a thing that is more absolutely essential to the American ethos the than four middle aged women dry humping. Just. <laughs> Fucking enjoy it, dog. Like, what is wrong with you? That's hilarious. Right. It, you know, it's one thing if they're messing with you, fine. But if it's just a train wreck and you're in a goddamn bar, you're an adult. 
just fucking handle your shit, lady. That sounds like she did. Yeah, yeah, she handled her shit by writing a one star Yelp review. You know who I feel sorry for? That woman's husband. That, <laughs> <laughs> that poor son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, until he, until the part about me and my husband. Yeah, I was like this this this, this is written a by a man whose wife is standing over his shoulder. Saying, you tell everybody what you said to me because you was looking at him. You tell the world what you said to me. I like how she was having the worst time of her life, and the dude was probably loving every <laughs> yeah, second of, of that. That's Four why she, women that's rubbing why on each she, other. That's why she wrote it. Uh, she got back home, and the guy was like, "Man, those uh, those drunk dancing girls were pretty fun, right?" And she was like, "I did not have fun." Uh, yeah, then she, she had on. the best sex of her night that night, <laughs> and then she realized why, and then then she wrote the review. It's like that's what it takes for my husband to be interested in me. My husband ain't touched me in thirty two years. <laughs> uh, these skanks. So now we're now we're moving down the street to Luke Bryan's thirty two bridge. Oh lord. <laughs> Which I don't even try anymore. It's if, like it's made by like a Wu Tang name generator. They're like, I, Luke Bryan's what? I, I'm sure there's some strange thing where the number 32 is significant to Luke Bryan, but it, it makes it's can, the number of chromosomes. Yes. <laughs> can I bring my act into the podcast? Oh, yes, please. Uh, whenever I hear somebody mention Luke Bryan, I pray to God they're talking about two different people. That's <laughs> <laughs> right from the stage to the podcast. There you are, folks. Uh, yeah. So, uh, and and by the way, if uh, if for some reason people listening have not, we did an entire celebrity restaurants episode oh. uh, of the show back in 2018, and that unfortunately is before I knew that Nashville is the fucking capital <laughs> of weird celebrity restaurants and bars. So I, we but kind of have to do just a Nashville edition. A at lot some of point. them are new. A lot of them are just the last couple. I years. know. Yeah. New so, trend. Yeah. 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 It's Part so. two. By the way, I'll have that lady from that. If you're listening right now, lady who wrote that one star review. Um, um, of the stage uh, Garth Brooks is actually opening up a bar in downtown and it is supposed to be family friendly so what? I would get there quick oh, before it shuts down yeah I was gonna say you, yeah. they're cutting hot dogs on every table <laughs> they're changing baby diapers cutting hot diggity dogs everywhere they have a knife just marked hot dogs only <laughs> <laughs> no, they've got a, they've got one of them paper cutters like they have in the back of a coffee shop yeah. just for hot dogs. Only hot. Do not put anything in here but hot dogs. <laughs> hot dogs for baby. Hey, y'all, step inside and use our hot dog guillotine. <laughs> it's the damnedest thing you've ever seen. Um, one lady would walk in there very, very, very clearly going there. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> they would. I went to Garth Brooks, and they would not cut my bratwurst on the hot dog machine cutter. <laughs> they won't that, let no more than three middle aged ladies finger themselves in the middle of the dance floor. Garth Brooks, <laughs> but yeah, this person gave Luke Bryan's Thirty Two Bridge one star. Oh no, well, I'm right. with him. Go ahead. I gave one star because I couldn't give less. Worst place I've ever visited in Nashville, and I used a porta potty. Overpriced drinks, inhospitable staff. Live band was fine. Okay, yeah. The music, <laughs> yeah, the music band. guys. So apparently, that's why they're here. That's the thing about the city is like the worst person playing in downtown is still better than the best person in almost all of the world in terms of playing this music. Oh I mean, it's yeah, just like, it's, it almost seems unfair. Like yeah, that's yeah, such talent. Uh, this one, uh, same same uh, establishment, five stars. Okay. okay. Josh's thighs made this trip worthwhile. Mm, hell yeah, they did. They make me so happy. Make the world go round. He thick. <laughs> that can't be real, right? Josh? That's really that made it past the editors. And the, <laughs> Josh, I don't know who Josh is. Maybe this. I is, need to meet this Josh. Maybe this is some famous musician that plays there. But as as far as I know, it's way funnier to imagine. Like, why did I come to this bar? For fucking Josh, and it's just some like truck driver just sitting at the bar <laughs> farting. Like, well, Josh, if you're listening right now out on the road driving your truck, probably farting too. Just know you did your job. <laughs> now it's time to get a direct sponsorship. All right. As an overweight person, I thought it was something off the menu. Uh, <laughs> Josh's thighs, <laughs> <laughs> two large thighs and a side of fries. Only at Luke Bryan's thirty-two. <laughs> <laughs> we have thirty other things here you can get. Try our Nashville hot thighs. <laughs> Nashville hot thighs. <laughs> Nashville hot. Now we're uh, now we're moving down to Nudie's Honky Tonk. Oh yeah, Nudie's. Uh, Nudie's. Which, for people listening, if you don't know, is named for Nudie Cohen, the man who designed all of the uh, outfits for oh, Grand Ole Opry. Naked people, right? Well, I'm uh, guessing there's a lot of disappointed there's people a here. Bit of confusion. A lot of That's people right. aren't familiar with uh, costume and uh, uh, decorator Nudie Cohen, and, and uh, they should not be. <laughs> Let's be honest here. Most uh, people aren't into fringe. Uh, three stars from this person. Rooftop was sweet. 
There's a great view of basic girls doing photo shoots on Broadway, but the security guy is a crotch monster. <laughs> a crotch? What, what's a crotch, that mean? A crotch monster. Oh, M O N C H E R. I was like, maybe that's a typo and he meant crotch monster. No, but even. The- what does that mean, though? Let's all, let's all go around the rivers. <laughs> I, I know what it means. Oh, you do? It means that they are judging a man for having no judgment about who's or what's any crotch. He likes them. He manches them all. Oh, And okay. he's too he's too progressive. Okay. I thought it was going to mean that like he won't just let you jack off. Oh. Oh, he's he's manching your good he's time. Like, he's like, yeah. get over here. All right. I'm, I'm getting ready to manch this jack you're doing. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> As an overweight person, I thought it was something on the menu from... <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, I want to let me get a side of crotch monsters. <laughs> Nashville, can you make that Nashville hot? Uh, we got another celebrity in the house here. Dirks Bentley's Whiskey Row. Yeehaw. Dirks Bentley's. Dirks Bentley's. Hey, hey, please whiskey tell me there's row. an apostrophe in Dirks. <laughs> <laughs> you know how people don't know how to use them. Yeah. <laughs> this bar belongs to the Bentley that Dirks owns. Dirks like, Bentley's Whiskey Row. Does Dirks Bentley ever come in here? No, no, no. They read the sign. It's actually yeah, yeah. Dirks Bentley. Yeah, it's S apostrophe. There's you several would. Dirks around here. They've got one Bentley. And this belongs to that. Uh, one star would leave zero stars if I could because I was told that I could not enter because of my green pants. On St. Patrick's Day. What a joke. Bentley sucks anyway. I went back the next night and I saw two rats on the floor. <laughs> so and wait, now, wait, wait, wait. wait. This guy was got thrown out. He was furious. He was like, let's go back tomorrow. <laughs> There's no way that's the reason they of didn't let him in. Of course not. This guy showed up shit-faced, yeah. and they were like, no. And he's like, why not? He's got one eye just like closed. <laughs> like, hey, why not? And the guy, after telling him you're too fucked up, he's like, I'm not fucked up. The guy goes, it's because you have green pants. And somehow that stuck to his like whiskey-pickled brain. Oh, <laughs> but that was the reason. That guy just got through beating up his girlfriend downtown, <laughs> fighting three other women. And he's just unless, like, oh, you green pants? Unless like, they were crotchless green pants. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> Yes, <laughs> but look, I think we can be assured that you're in close proximity to a crotch monster yeah, who would right. not stand for that. <laughs> he should have went to the other place. <laughs> I love the way this guy's like, this place sucks. After not being able to get in there because of my green pants, I couldn't get anywhere else to get alcohol. It's like, fucking walk next door, dude. Walk next door. Oh, did he say that? He said he couldn't get a drink? No, no I just, I'm just saying it's funny. It's like, did you be mad you couldn't get into one bar on Broadway? Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, what, what else are you going to do? You drove all the way out here. Where's another place to get alcohol? It's like, it's 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 15 feet to the right. And we're going to we're gonna end right at the end of Broadway there with an absolutely classic establishment. Tootsie's Orchid Lounge. There you go. Mm-hmm. You can't have a negative about it. They're all five stars. Yep, yep. Legendary. Oh, legendary legendary oh, okay. Tootsie's okay. Orchid Lounge. <laughs> uh, <laughs> these people did not have a legendary time, and I, this is this is the capper. This that is my favorite. Seen. All right. One star. And what? All, Wait, at Tootsie's? At Tootsie's. One star for oh, Tootsie's. Unbelievable. And, I'm pissed off already. And I want to make note of when this was posted. This was posted on May 21st, 2020. <laughs> At wow. a, a time in which you shouldn't be in any fucking bar. I was the only one at Tootsie's, and they made me wear a mask. I called Bart Durham. <laughs> so again, Bartenders were all sick and coughing. Talk about how, oh, some of them had died recently. Yeah, yeah. A likely story. So one star from May 2020. If hell had a bar, this would be it. That honestly sounds awesome. That sounds like a five star. I know. That sounds like a word. Yeah. That sounds dope. My entire party had group diarrhea in the bathroom. (laughs) No, it does not say that. It says group diarrhea. (laughs) Wait, again, five stars. How cool is that? (laughs) A whole group having diarrhea. That sounds amazing. This is a bonding experience. It sounds like it was our diarrhea. It was our. This is our (laughs) diarrhea. Group, like so, everyone got poisoned, (laughs) which is funny considering when this happened. Because it's like in 2020, you would be so lucky to get group diarrhea from a bar as opposed to fucking your lungs filling with fluid and you drowning. All these people got what they deserved. You know, there's four of them crashing in one hotel room. Just like, <laughs> oh, remember yeah. kids, we used to play swords. You know what I'm saying? Where you all pee in the same place, you know? <laughs> uh, little, no, little, we, I didn't uh, do it. You know, like little, kids, little kids would be like, go all the same time to the bathroom, right? And it's like, <laughs> 
Sorry, I grew up broke, and they just be like, "You got to pee before you go to bed, and you just go and then I'll pee." This is the opposite of that, right? It's just shit and swords. Like, <laughs> did they share a toilet? What, like, or were they all just lined up in all the stalls? Oh just... well, Tootsie's first of all for people listening, it's been there I think since like the forties. Yeah, it's, it's probably got like two toilets, in uh, there, dude. Right? It's the, the, imagine a bathroom that has been a bar bathroom for oh. like seventy years. You know what I mean? And like, still never seen group diarrhea until this day in twenty twenty <laughs> when this crew rolled up in. <laughs> you know how they got the group diarrhea, so they use a contaminated knife cutting hot dogs. Oh, that's, oh yeah. that'll do it. At least, hot dogs. at least they've got them. See, we're going to rectify that at Garth's, okay? <laughs> we're we're going to boil all of our hot dog we knives. We have a process for this. It's a clean process. <laughs> that's right. God, group diarrhea, that's... That is, it is. I don't they, think they, this guy realized how much he five-starred himself uh, yeah, yeah. on the way he wants to. Uh, it ends by saying, this place is smelly and way too loud, yeah. even for a tourist trap. Foul owner. Nice employees, though. <laughs> Could that be the group diarrhea you're uh, Yeah, 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 exactly. It's like, seems like some of that is at least your <laughs> fault. Group uh, diarrhea. So, anyway, that is the Yelp report from Lower Broadway. Welcome to Nashville, motherfuckers. <laughs> you heard it here. Uh, Goods from the Woods podcast. How long does it take there. diarrhea to kick in? How do they know they got it at Tootsie's? Were they there long enough I, for diarrhea to start? This is what I think. I think they were there. All day uh, okay. because it's May of 2020, and I remember because we were we were pretty actively covering a lot of Nashville stories during that time because Why, Rivers because all the goddamn <laughs> bars were open and yeah. every day you would see like 500 people packed into Kid Rock's big ass honky tonk yeah. and it's like uh yeah you know and I remember Tootsie's like being open and I think if I remember correctly the owner posting a oh, bunch of shit online just being like angry about <laughs> yeah just the like government getting in the way the government's lying to us that's why Tootsie's ain't open um but Masks uh, don't save lives. Tootsies do. Yeah, get right. your ass down to Tootsies and live. <laughs> we need to get a historical marker down there. On this date, May of 2020, the first ever documented case of group <laughs> diarrhea. <laughs> Document <laughs> self-professed <laughs> on the Yelp. I got to say, that's that's better than just solo, because at least you're bonding. Yeah, It's like, one of those experiences where, like, while it's happening, you're like, this sucks, but it'll be a funny story later. But this person doesn't have that perspective. They just go straight to Yelp and bitch about the group diarrhea and i'm like you know what you're closer with your friends for doing that